Hello, I'm Dale Balkum. I'm a potter here in Memphis, Tennessee. I've been a potter for 40 years, and uh, today I'm going to investigate uh, using some adjustable molds. Uh, over the years, I've developed lots of molds myself, uh, but recently I've discovered some molds that are adjustable, and I'm going to try them out, and we're going to see what we can do with them. Okay, here we go. We've got three different tools to investigate. This is an edging tool that I'm going to use on um, the pieces to embellish the edge, and we'll see how that goes when we get to it. Uh, it has uh, interchangeable wheels to uh, make various um, uh, impressions on, on the piece. Um, now the molds. There are two here, and they are just marvelous. Um, they are completely adjustable. So you can make a rectangle or you can adjust it otherwise to make a square. Uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, I believe I'm going to make a rectangle. And the other mold is an octagonal and it is a fantastic shape. Uh, it has hardware on here with little bitty uh, adjustments so you can tighten it once you get the shape that you want. Um, and um, what I did was I uh, used, um, made a, uh, a piece that was pretty much like this. But you can change each, each uh, of the two uh, sides can be changed to, to vary the shape. Uh, so you're not stuck with one shape if you're using a plaster mold or, or um, um, a mold made out of um, wood that is uh, screwed together to get a form. So it gives you complete flexibility, uh, similar to the kind of flexibility that uh, clay artists are used to when they are hand building or, or throwing on, on the wheel. Okay, I haven't used these and we're going to see what happens.
Okay, here they are. Had a great firing. Here's the rectangle. Um, it, it turned out really, really nice. Um, wow, I don't know what to say. It was, it was a lot of fun doing it. And here is the octagonal. I really like this pot. Uh, it was a lot of fun to do. Uh, you can see the um, impression made by the um, edging tool. I put the handles on, did the slip decoration that I demonstrated in the video. And um, I think this is a real advancement uh, in mold making.